Now joined by Hofstra head coach Joe Mahalik following his team's 74-63 loss, overtime loss at Richmond. Coach, some thoughts on tonight's game? I think we should have won. You know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm so proud of our guys to come down here, play the way they played. You know, but I, I felt like I felt like that was the one. We talked all weekend long these last three practices. We talked about, you know, let's let's have the biggest win in the conference so far this season. I don't think anybody in the conference has had a big win. To go on the road and maybe beat a really good ranked 10 team like this, you know, I felt like, I felt like we should have won the game. But at the end, when it came time to make plays, you know, we didn't do it. We didn't do it, and that's the next step. That's the next step. But, but I'll tell you what, this is a, this is a team. We just have to, I just told the team this. We just have to decide if we, if we want to be close or if we want to be good. Because we are close. Can you talk about the effort of Zeke Upshaw tonight? He just uh, 37 points. Most in three years for a Hofstra player. He seemed to, every time he needed a big bucket tonight, he was there. Uh, maybe a point late, pushing himself a little too far, though. Yeah, and you know what? In fairness to Zeke and all the guys here, you know, we can't take Zeke out of the game. And Dion was only out of the game because he was in foul trouble. So maybe they get a little worn out down the stretch and, and all that. It's, we didn't handle the ball. We've got to handle the ball better. You know, that's, you know, I, don't, I don't know. Our turnovers don't look too, too bad. But in, in, the, in the second half, there, when we needed to make plays, we turned it over. You out rebounded Richmond 44 to 37. Uh, was that a key to kind of get the early lead in the game and kind of hold on to overtime a little bit? Well, yeah, it's always a key. You know, I mean, getting some second shots is a key. You know, I always say it's the best shot in the game is a second shot. You know, limiting them. You know, we, we don't have much room for error. We know that. We, know, we don't have any room for error. So, you know, it, it, it's more about the turnovers and the live turnovers, too. It wasn't just turnovers, live ball turnovers. Live ball turnovers turned into bad transition defense and conversions at the other end. We had we had two or three live ball turnovers where we have the ball and they score. I mean, that's not good. Richmond uh, started to go into a full court press in that second half. What sort of adjustments were you trying to make in the second half? Uh, you know, we, 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 you know, I said it earlier, we, we need to handle the basketball better. It'd be nice to have another guy out there that can handle the basketball. You know, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're asking Dion to, to just bear the whole load of the press. You know, and the other three guys, no names mentioned, they know who they are. You guys can figure it out. I don't know you know. They need to get better handle the basketball. And, and unfortunately, the only way to do that is to go through a tough situation like this. Jordan Allen really uh, kind of gave you some like glue type stuff tonight, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, and it was bringing the ball up, as you mentioned, when Dion was in foul trouble. Can you talk about his efforts tonight? I thought he was terrific in the first half. You know, with Dion picking up those two fouls, you know, he's really a, he's really our emergency point guard, and, you know, I thought he did a good job with that, so, you know, uh, and that's that's who he is. I mean, he, he's a guy that's going to have to fill the statue. He might not be the greatest scorer in the world, but he can do these other things that he does tonight. So. Can you talk about, I know it's hard right after a game, silver lining, but after such a gut-wrenching loss, how do you move forward into this weekend with two very tough games, back-to-back well, -back days? You know, uh, I said it from day one. We're not going to sit around and feel sorry for ourselves. You know, we, we talk about our problems. It's, you know, I, I always quote Lou Holtz. You know, you're going to talk about, don't, don't talk about your problems. Because half the people don't care, the other half are glad you have them. So the team, whoever, the team we're playing next, they're, they're glad we had a tough loss. So we're going we're to have to just dig down deep and you know, see, how, see how tough we can be uh, you know, next time we go out on the floor. Thank you, Coach.